Okay. So in today's session, we are going to reverse the table row. Okay. Reverse the table row. So earlier, what we did earlier, we just bring the number in a table one, two, three. Okay. Now, now in this session, we are going to reverse it. Here, this as we discuss. Okay, now see here. In this session, we are going to explore the uh, how we can reverse the table row. Earlier, we have just uh, printed the table. In earlier session, you found that key, how we have printed the table. Now, in this session, here this first thing, first for loop is to create the row, and after that, this uh, inner for loop is to for the columns. Okay, for the columns, and we have given the console log. To get uh, understanding for debugging, where is our is our code executing or not? Okay, so in that here we can you can see where cell row and insert cell and we use the j as incrementer and we loop and we set the k value for numbering and at the end of the cell is up at the end once last cell is added at the end and what I'm saying cell okay what I'm saying here cell dot c Cell means this cell, okay? Cell dot inner HTML means I'm adding one last additional cell here. Dot inner HTML is equal to bottom button type button on click reverse, okay? On click reverse. Now here on click reverse, I will remove this and again I write, okay? And what I'm doing, I'm writing the separate function on. I just add the button here now and button name is reverse when after completion of adding the cells in a row and last cell it will add the button so i will go in output and display the output here how it will look okay once we click you can see the reverse buttons are here reverse button added here through this cell when after completion of this for loop of a cells after that in after that what i'm doing i'm writing the separate function i will uh, call that function <laughs> function name is uh, a reverse row okay and this is my function reverse row and i write the write the separate function here uh, reverse row this function i have written and i pass the element okay i remove this for better understanding function reverse row and here and this function okay now first thing you need to check that my row function is getting called on button click or not okay so i give here console log console dot log and i say here in a b verse okay and check that my button is getting called or not press f12 keep the practice of debugging the code at each statement okay see once i click see breakpoint is there let me remove the breakpoint again refresh it reverse so go to the console in reverse means my function is getting called once i click in reverse in reverse okay so it means it gets it's called the reverse okay i mean reverse after that in once we enter in the reverse now now what you need to do just to go here take the element i am here now okay so here is my HTML. Okay, in this HTML, this is first TD, second, third, and last TD here. And in that TD, we have added button. So what I want to reverse, I want to reverse all these three numbers. A one, two, three, four numbers. Okay, whatever, whatever in the inner HTML. So what I need to do, I need to, uh, I need to first go to this TR. I need to go to this TR, and in after this TR, I need to read all the TDs in this TR. After First means how I will traverse it. How I will traverse it? Okay, just a minute. Okay. So how I can uh, traverse it? First, see, I am at this stage. Now I need to go. I will say find say parent td. Then I will say parent tr. Okay. So first I traverse to parent td and then parent tr so how will uh, traverse to parent tr so first i need to say 
this is my element okay this is my element then i say parent element and parent element then i will get the tr element okay after getting the tr then you know that how to read the td value then you 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 will read the one by one td value and put that td value in one array okay you put that td value in one array and then you will reverse that array and again new array will generate and that new array value will set into the tr okay this new uh, t, uh, array value will set into the tr okay again uh, tr okay so now now you understand here how it will work here now we'll go and how we implement it okay now uh, what i do i just find out here now i say this this means this okay now let me find parent uh, i need to check the syntax okay get the syntax okay uh, get get parent element in javascript parent element what it say parent element okay okay i go here and put here this dot parent element so as you know as you know here the parent element is td now okay so we go here and say alert alert this and i have where is function reverse function is here i'll say here uh, row element okay row element i say here row element and i will put here row element console dot log okay i put here row element console dot log okay now console dot log what happening here i check the output here okay i refresh it generate the table okay and reverse check the console dot log okay see what it display it displaying me the td but my expectation is my expectation is which element the parent element is a sorry my parent element is a the minute extract it and let me go into the one particular tr is my tr this is a tr now i am at in this stage but i want to get this tr okay so what i am saying here parent element dot parent element okay dot parent element okay now see what it will display okay now again refresh say generate element viewers and here console you will get the tr element okay now we are here okay now our role is to iterate this tr and get values from this td so how we will do that now in that now in that where we are now we get the row element now i want to find out the length i want to find out the length of this all the td so that i can iterate through the uh, i will iterate through this td okay so how we, i will do that so i what i do uh uh where why is not okay where 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 now i will say here uh row are why it's where row count okay i will say row and td count okay row td count equal to now i'll say row uh, element dot uh, cells cells dot dot length oh, oh. sorry guys some issue there length okay 
so here i just check that uh, link is getting extract or not okay so i will go here go, okay now here okay so now i have i'm, I'm getting uh, i'm taking the length the total length one two three four five five cells are there when it will retrieve the five but my intention is i want to just extract this first four so how will you extract uh, minus one okay it will give me the first four okay, now go here refresh the red table reverse see uncaught length is a, uh, not a valid uh, function okay again google is there so what i say in, on google get the uh, row td get the length length of OTD. okay now for count the number of columns in a table row okay now now i'll get the function row cells dot length cells dot length is the function what i, I have said cells dot length c needs to be kept small again i copy and paste here always take keep the habit to take a reference from uh, google okay now go here here uh, here refresh it Gender table reverse. I get the got the four length. Okay, so four length is my uh, all the uh, TD elements. Okay, after that I get the TD. Now I want to iterate through those TD. Okay, now I want to I have the uh, row element. Now I want to iterate through the uh, all the cells. Okay, now what I do? Uh, I have the length of the uh, TD. Okay, and after that I will define what array array. Uh, so how we'll define the array where uh, td where row element row value and i'll say here uh, how we define declare the array like this or like this okay this is the empty array okay this is the empty array so what i do i just say now here for loop and uh, read the each cell value each cell value so how we do that let me take a reference table row dot cells maybe table row dot row dot cells cell atom okay just a minute get the table or row collection table rows collection take a reference okay. no. the table one get the value of all the cells maybe this will help all right cells cells your cells dot inner html cells dot inner html okay okay i'm just taking a reference cells dot inner html cells dot inner html we are in a row but now cells zero dot inner html okay that's good now say now we need to say for say i equal to initially zero now now you have the length i is a length okay row td count is there okay i'm saying row td count i needs to be less than okay now row td count is here 5 i say less than means it's come to up to 4 only okay and here i say i plus plus okay we are using the uh, iterate okay we iterate through the cell now okay now i have the row element now i say uh, uh, the, again console log take a reference console dot log here yeah, console log then uh, row element dot cells sorry cells in the bracket i dot inner html okay 
now I just remove unwanted console log okay and okay now it will reiterate okay check the output the habit Zero, one, two, three. Reverse. 10, 11, 12, 30. Reverse. 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay. Now it's working. Now your role is you need to add this in the array. Okay. So add value in array, JavaScript array. So JavaScript array there. Sometimes you will say that uh, sir is too lazy, but this is the proper way. Huh? This is the proper way. I never keep burden on my brain uh, to remember the code and all. Okay. Or okay, okay, okay. Array. Okay. Array. Add. Okay. okay. Getting. So here. Row value here. Now how we add? Just a minute. blank array. Initially, I have declared the blank array, and after that, okay. Now, now what I'm doing, I know and see here where we are. Now we we have to here why I say that where td value, where td value, and now I will push that td value in a array, and now my array name is row row value. I give it more than proper name A R R so that for your understanding dot T D uh, sorry just here and say I means index position I equal to T D value okay see getting now I will say here T D value and it will loop me through me array. And again, go back here, and again, our console is there to display the console dot log. And here, console dot log, log will say row value array. I just display the row value array. Okay, this we understand that it's executing properly or not. Again, where is my output window? A refresh, 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 get table, reverse. Okay, what it's saying? Button click. Array, see my array. Array, all the again this button value is also getting added, added in my array, okay? Because our mm, length mismatch 0, 1, 2, 3. I want up to this location, okay? So it goes up to the fourth position, okay? Because array started with the 0th position. Now, what I do? I will just say minus 1. Okay, refresh, generate. My array is ready 5, 6, 7, 8. My array is ready 10, 11, 13. Okay. Now your role is to reverse it. What is the function to reverse the array? Now I go here. My array is ready. Now this this for loop we were doing it generate the array. It capture the value. It capture this for loop. Capture td uh, row value in an array. Now now here I'll go here and I say. Uh, now here what you want to do you want to reverse it okay again I don't know the reverse function again I will go here uh, JavaScript JavaScript oh. reverse array yeah. JavaScript uh, reverse method reverse it will reverse the method of okay reverse no syntax mistake okay I say oh. Oh. Uh, well, array dot uh, reverse reverse root array and function okay keyboard keyboard issue is there okay now uh, I will, uh, what
what I can I need to say I will declare another array here oh no need to declare it directly reverse it okay same array we can use now I just go output and check it's properly reverse or not generate see here row row value is not function what happened oh it's not function sorry yeah reverse I need to say reverse Next rule is now array is ready and reverse format. Okay, a reverse we have reverse the array. Now we need to set the value of the inner HTML. Just go here, copy paste. I'm too lazy. I always prefer the copy paste. And I'm lazy and my keyboard is more lazy than me. Okay, control C. I put here control V hurry. Control C sorry guys. Huh? Okay, so I pasted it here now. Now uh, I, I refer third variable J. I take the variable j now your cells are reverse now I say inner HTML Okay, where element cell dot in the HTML equal to equal to now I will say set uh, iterate we are iterating through the array and here row uh, value array See guys, just the last step we are. This not working. So just what you need to do, you just need to. Okay. So I will do here. A row value array and in that value dot where row element okay here where row element cells dot okay a row element this is a row element now row element means same row element this row element okay so row element after that we say cells dot here i can i'll say j value j okay 
row value j and I set row value arrj and td value. So here what we are doing so we row td count is there now row value I say reverse now I reverse the array and here I remove this side I got it's not required we just need to say this see and here j okay you get the j value and I set it to the inner html our save this I go out put window and it will save the things the table here is here here j is not defined I have not defined j is equal to zero so what I do here even I was not defined i so in this function I will say where i comma j okay so I have defined the i and g, refresh, then the table, see reverse, reverse, it's reversing, it's not reversing, it's not reversing, right? Again, I'll go here, then the table, no, now it's not something wrong happening here. So row count, uh, row count minus 1, okay? Now uh, j is a 0, j is less than j plus plus. Initially, row val array row element first row element and here i need to say j i have said i now i save this go back refresh generate see reverse equal to 13 10 20 equal to 18 reverse okay again reverse again same again reverse it's working as per our expectation so guys you could you understand that how we have achieved the reverse row here what we did here what we did here so okay here so first what we we, we get the row element here after that uh, we take one uh, black empty array we set the all the td value in this uh, empty array then we reverse the array and again we take one j variable again loop through the and row element dot cell uh, cell zero position that inner HTML we set the reverse value and our array will get reverse okay so sorry our uh, table row value will get reverse okay I hope you understand that how we have reversed the content okay so guys any concern on uh, array reversing you understand how we can reverse the table row understand any concern as of now Neha, Sadha, Aparna, Sneha. Okay, I hope you understand how we can reverse. Could there any concern on row reversing? Means the table row, how we can reverse the table row. So this is the basic kind of logic we can this is the basic kind of logic we can use. Okay. So same way, different places, different way you can do this. Okay. So I hope understand this. Okay. Now Stop here.